So we've seen that dispersion has two terms. There's the diffusion, which happens inexorably in time and spreads things out, and dispersion, which spreads things out when solutes are moving. Now, one of the things that I think is really important to, to realize about diff diffusion is it's symmetrical. So diffusion basically takes things all in the in, in you know, same, if, as long as we're in a uniform media, things go in a symmetric pattern. However, what you'll see here is that with dispersion, the dispersion is much longer in the direction of flow than it is across, the across flow. So we have what we call longitudinal dispersion and lateral. And so longitudinal is this way, and lateral would be across the, the direction of flow. And these are usually, longitudinal is usually about 10 times larger than lateral, because most of the spreading happens along the direction of transport. So while diffusion is can be represented as a scalar, dispersion, you have to keep track of the fact that it has an orientation, has a directionality to it. And so really, it becomes what's called a tensor. So watch out, when you're talking about dispersion, you need to think about the orientation with respect to flow. And the spreading will be vastly different crossing flow than along the direction of flow.